The PlayStation 5 is one of the hottest items this year. Millions of PlayStation fans have now received their big and chunky next-gen consoles. This also means having to learn the quirks that come with the next generation. When it comes to the PS5, there are a few hard rules about PS5 external storage you should know. Whether you already have a PS5 or are still waiting to get one, here's the complete explanation of how external storage does or doesn't work on the PlayStation 5. There's no way around it. The PS5 is rather short on internal storage. The SSD inside your PS5 has a total of 825 gigabytes of capacity. However, once you deduct the system software and its reserved space, there's a mere 667 gigabytes left for users to install games on, store their data, and keep screenshots and video clips. Consider that typical game sizes for big ticket titles usually range between 50 gigabytes to 100 gigabytes. That's only between 6 and 12 games total before you completely run out of space. With the PlayStation 4, this wasn't the end of the world. You could easily replace the internal drive with something bigger or simply connect a USB drive, install your games there and play them as usual. With the PlayStation 5, neither of these options are possible. You cannot play PS5 games from an external USB drive either. This means that the absolute limit for PS5 games right now is 667 gigabytes and not a byte more. However, you can archive PS5 games to external storage, which means you don't have to download them again. But any PS5 games you want to play need to be on that internal drive. The PS5 has an expansion slot that accepts an NVMe SSD card. This is an expansion for internal PS5 storage. You can play PS5 games from an SSD in this slot, and you can put in an SSD of whatever size your budget allows. However, right now this slot is disabled. If you try to put an NVMe card in there now, the PS5 will refuse to start up until you remove it. Sony will enable the slot in a future firmware update. It's also important to know that only specific drives that have been whitelisted by Sony will work, which means that you should not buy any NVMe drive until the list of approved drives is released. Almost all USB drives will work with the PS5. That includes both mechanical USB hard drives and USB SSDs. Once again, even if you use a SATA or NVMe SSD to the USB interface, you won't be able to run PS games from it. The USB interface itself is too slow compared to the internal SSD. There is one major exception when it comes to USB drives and the PS5. Any USB drive with an integrated hub is unlikely to work. We tested the Seagate Backup Plus 8TB with our PS5 and it was rejected. As far as I can tell, the reason for this is that the drive is wired through the hub internally. So the PS5 sees the hub between itself and the drive. Both PS4 and PS5 consoles require a direct connection to the drive or it won't work. The simple rule of thumb here is that any USB drive that works with the PS4 should work with the PS5. In fact, you can freely use the same drive with the same games between consoles. In other words, if you disconnect a USB drive with games from a PS4 and connect it to a PS5, it should work immediately, assuming that the games on the drive belong to the same account that's logged in on the PS5 console. Another important limitation PS5 users should know about is that only one USB drive can be used at the same time, even if they are all connected directly without a hub. I suspect that some people will want to run a small USB SSD and a large USB mechanical drive side by side on their PS5s, but right now it's just not possible. While it's not possible right now, it is fairly simple to swap between drives by using the option to safely remove the external drive and then connecting a new one. As I mentioned earlier, PS5 games can only be played from the internal SSD at the moment. Sadly, you can't move PS5 games to an external USB drive to play them. PS4 games can be moved between USB and internal storage as much as you like, but why would you want to use that precious internal SSD space for PS4 games? Well actually there is a good reason. PS5 games are designed to get as much from the internal SSD's performance as possible. With these games, you can expect few if any load screens and almost instantaneous loading. Because PS4 games were not designed for this fast drive, you won't see similar performance improvements. However, in certain games it can still make a huge difference. For example, we tested Assassin's Creed Origins on our external 5TB mechanical drive, and the initial game load took minutes. Moving the game to the internal SSD reduced the load times to just a few seconds. In open world titles such as these, the internal SSD can have a substantial effect. 
other games don't benefit quite as much, but we encourage you to experiment to see which of your PS4 games benefit the most. The optimal solution is to use an external USB SSD for PS4 games that do benefit from SSD speed improvements. But these drives are pretty expensive and most people will likely settle on a 500 gigabyte or one terabyte drive. So you'll be trading raw capacity for speed. The most reasonable compromise, as I mentioned before, is to swap between a USB SSD and mechanical drive on a per game basis. The storage situation on the PS5 right now is less than ideal. However, using this information, you should have what you need to craft a workable solution for you. See you next time.